Hey everybody, it's been quite a while since I made uh, a video about anything really. Uh, this video is in response to uh, a question somebody had about making contours. Uh, so I'm gonna in this video I'm gonna basically make a fake topo and then show you how to do two different types of contour lines and explain what the benefits are of each one. And this is coming again, as usual, from an architectural uh, background. So first thing I'm going to do is make just a rectangle, and I'll make it uh, 500 feet by 500 feet. Turn it to a planar surface. I'm going to type cage edit. Cage edit is uh, to me it's a little bit easier of a way to. to push and pull the surface of a plane to make it look more like a topography as opposed to um, using subdivide or rebuild and and, generate, and push and pull uh, the points from there. So I'm going to type uh, cage edit, go up to bounding box and then I'm going to use just C plane was fine because our C plane is the same plane. Um, our X Y and Z point count. I'm gonna do 10, 10, and uh, let's make Z two. You have to have at least two for your Z. I'm go ahead and make the Z degree three as well. And if you don't know what the degree is, degree is essentially uh, how curvy it is. So if you have a degree of one, then each each point that you pull up will be uh, hard angles. But if you have a, de a degree of three, then it's a more smooth kind of uh, surface that you'll be generating. And you can, you can go above three, but one, two, and three are kind of like the, the most common. Um, anything above three, just it, it can get kind of weird or it's too little to really even notice. So anyways, <clears throat> Click OK on that, region to edit, global, it'll fine. Uh, and then you want to come in here and you can see all of our points. And it might look kind of crazy, but if you just drag a window, you can kind of pull up here, and pull over here, go down, just kind of create like a random little topography surface here. OK. <clears throat> Hit escape a couple of times and you can just delete that cage. You can keep the cage if you want to uh, manipulate it more, so maybe hide it or something. Um, otherwise, you're going to be given a new cage. So I'm just going to delete it because I know for this video I'm done with it. <coughs> Next thing you want to do is select a side view, so front, back, right, or left. I'll use right. Gives you a good view of what this looks like. So we want to start the contour command, so just type contour select objects. I'm going to select our topo surface we just made. Click OK on that. Uh, base point, <clears throat> that's essentially um, the, the point that you want to designate where it starts looking for geometry. So if I start way up here somewhere and I come down, it's going to start detecting geometry from the point that I click all the way down uh, to the next point that I click and it's going to create contour lines within that uh, that dimension. So if I start up here and I and I my second click is down here then it's gonna include the whole model and if I start like somewhere in the middle or like one third and then I come down to the, the other third then it'll create uh, contour lines uh, just within that small window. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing and um, I'm going from top down and that'll create a uh, contour lines that are typical in the architectural models that you build. So if you imagine taking cardboard or uh, chipboard and you just cut it out and you stack them on top of each other, that's kind of what we're going for. So do the first click and then the second click and then figure out the distance between contours. We'll just do two feet here and then you can see it starts building that. and. You can go to perspective and you can see it creates a really nice uh, kind of site uh, contours for your site. 
So we'll go back to, uh, oops, I accidentally duplicated those. Delete those. Another thing you can do if you plan on using this topo service a lot is you can uh, go in here and rebuild and it'll just make it a little bit smoother. If you're not familiar with rebuild, uh, you basically specify the grid in the X and Y direction or U and V and then the degree. You probably want to keep the degree the same as what you had it when you were doing the cage edit, otherwise it'll change it quite a bit. Um, but the point count, uh, unless you're doing a huge range, probably won't affect it too much. So we're good on that. And the next one that I want to show you is um, how to do it the other way, which is a little more uncommon. So if I go ahead and type contour again, and I start from the left, and I go to the right, and I keep the two feet increments, you can see it builds it the other way. And uh, in, in my experience, the reason why you would do this is because you have a very steep uh, sight plan and you don't want to stack 30 pieces of cardboard vertically and instead you might want to stack um, it's pretty crazy you might want to just stack a few so if you imagine doing this we'll just go down 40 feet hopefully that's good another line so this is all just me explaining now if I can figure out how to make this thing okay 40 feet draw a line to connect the two make all these good sort of Okay, have that. So essentially, what we have here is uh, in this case, in a very steep site model, you'd ha you would cut out this profile. clear or not but if you have a very steep um, site plan then doing it this way uh, will probably end up saving you a lot of time so anyways that's the end of this video uh, I hope that it helps clarify how to do contours in uh, Rhino um, I have another video that shows you how to set things up for laser cutter it basically sets it up to export from uh, Rhino into Illustrator, but a lot of people can print just from Rhino as well. So um, have a look at that, and that'll kind of get you get you the next step in laser cutting your your site model. Thanks for watching. Uh, questions are always welcome, and I can always make more videos to answer those questions. And uh, I really appreciate you watching the video. Thanks. Bye.